What's up everybody and welcome to another edition of AGR's Pop Culture Reviews. Well, San Diego Comic Con 2018 has come and gone. It's always a great event and most importantly, it's able to showcase some of the great products that are coming up in the next year. Now, one of the great things about this Comic Con is that you get to meet really spectacular people, especially some of the extraordinary cosplayers. But the coolest thing about these Comic Cons are definitely the exclusives. Fortunately, I was hooked up with a little bit of swag, so the next two episodes are going to be dedicated to the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives, and I gotta say, they're pretty impressive. Now, if you recall a couple weeks ago, I did my official review on the Diamond Select Toys version of X-23 wearing the Wolverine costume. Kind of an homage, and it was a really great figure. So you can just imagine how excited I was when I found out that the San Diego Comic-Con was going to be issuing an unmasked exclusive version. Now, if you want to get a little more backstory on the regular version of X-23, you can watch my previous review, but this deadly lady needs no real introduction. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Diamond Select Toys' version of X-23 Wolverine Unmasked San Diego Comic-Con 2018 preview exclusive. Let's take a closer look. Now, in all honesty, I was really impressed with the original version of this figure, but having seen the unmasked version, it is definitely something that you have to own. Not only is the head sculpt beautiful, but they did an amazing job with the face. The eyes are done very well, there's this great countenance in the face, and it's only complemented by the jet black hair. They did a really great job, and this looks almost Kotobukiya Bishoujo-esque in the overall style. This is a really well done job, and everything looks really neat, no QC problems that I see. Now, I'll be the first one to admit that the only real difference between this figure and the previous figure is the head sculpt, but it doesn't mean that some of the great things about the previous figure haven't translated well into this one. Now, the upper torso, again, has this great color palette. It has a great sculpt that really emphasizes the musculature of this figure. Very little QC problems. I actually don't see any smudges. And it wasn't like they just kind of rushed this to get a Comic-Con exclusive. The head sculpt does really go with this figure. And there is a slight difference in the shade of blue that they use. Not too much. You can't really notice it, but if you really pay attention, you can see it. Again, just like the previous figure, her iconic claws are really well done. And I don't know if it's just psychosomatic, but I see a different shade of silver or metal there. I don't know, I'm going to do a comparison, a side-by-side -side comparison with the two figures, but overall, it's really well done, and again, if you own the original, the body is going to be exactly the same. The only thing that's different is the head sculpt. Similar to the previous figure, I absolutely love the direction and art style that they went with, particularly in the stance. It's very iconic and very heroic looking. They did a really great job. I will say this, though, just because I notice every detail, there is a slight greater sheen on this one on the lower half of the figure than on the previous figure. Again, these are the things that you'll notice once you're up close, but I do notice it. Where it becomes a little more obvious is definitely in the belt and how it contrasts with the red X, especially in the faux kind of brown look. It definitely stands out. Now, my original recommendation for the previous figure was definitely to mirror it. Absolutely no questions asked. But this one is definitely a recommendation because look at how beautiful the head sculpt is. And you can also see the reverse side of the details in her hair, the way it flows. This is just absolutely magnificently sculpted and that jet black hair looks great. And under the right lighting, it's gonna sheen very nicely. Of course, we always have the fan service because it's done very well, it's really nice. And overall, guys, you really have to put this under the right lighting and definitely mirror it. I highly recommend it. What really turned it over for me in the original was the base. It's done very well. I love that it's in an incline. It has that beautiful X symbol and in the middle, just like the previous one, it has that nice red. But most importantly, it has those two notches which are now symbolic of her weapons. Something I didn't mention in the previous review, when I first saw those notches, I thought it was an imperfection or a QC problem. Then it hit me. Oh, wait a minute. She was just scratching at her own base. I thought it was even cooler. This is just really well done, guys. Okay, so like I promised, I was going to do a side-by-side -side comparison, and as you can see, they're very similar, with the unmasked version being a little bit more brilliant, so to speak, and definitely has a little bit more of a sheen to it. But as you can see, they're very similar in terms of the overall sculpt and style, which is really cool. Now, one of the things that I recommend is if you guys are avid readers or if you have a book collection, use these as bookends because they'll look really awesome. You have one that's masked and the unmasked version, which is going to look really cool on your shelf. And that's definitely what I'm going to be doing because I have a hell of a lot of books. Or even if you read a lot of graphic novels, it'll look cool, guys. Now here's the deal with this piece, and I say this with a caveat. Although I'm not giving it my holy grail seal of approval, I will say this, it is definitely a must own. Now the only reason that it doesn't get that coveted title is because the run is so large. There's about 4,000 of them, so there's really no danger of you not being able to pick one up. 
But other than that, this is an extraordinary piece. And I will say this, once that number starts getting lower and lower, it's going to get on eBay, and this is definitely going to go up in price. So if you want it, guys, now's the time to snag it when it's readily available. Now, before I go, I just want to thank Janet and her team over at ThinkGeek for hooking me up with this wonderful exclusive swag for this review. All right, everybody, so that's my official review on Diamond Select Toys version of X-23, Wolverine Unmasked version, San Diego Comic-Con 2018 preview exclusive. As always, I thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next AGR's Pop Culture Reviews.